Welcome to the White Noise Test Mini Tutorial. In this video, I will use NumExcel to help us perform a plain white noise test in Excel. After that, I will go over the test iteration and develop intuition to use in future analysis. For this tutorial, I used a Gaussian distribution to generate a sequence of random numbers. Using these random numbers, I plotted the data in a graph. Let's examine the summary statistics of our time series sample. For that, we need to select the NumExcel tab in the toolbar and then select Descriptive Statistics. Using the Summary Stat Wizard, locate and select the input time series data. The currently selected cell is chosen by default as the output cell. Let's leave that unchanged. Take all of the form defaults and click OK. The Summary Statistics table is now displayed in your worksheet. Please note that all of the statistical tests pass. This is by design since we started with the random sample data. Let's examine the p-value of the white noise test. The white noise test is a one-tail statistical test. A p-value greater than the significance level, or alpha, leads us to not reject the null hypothesis. In other words, the time series is white noise. Using the first m lags, the white noise test function computes the p-value for the l junk box modified q statistics. By default, the max number of lags is assumed equal to natural log of the sample size. Here, we examine the effect of choosing other values. Let's prepare a table. On the left, populate the different values that max lags can take. Since we only have a small sample, only 30 points, I will set the max lags to be up to 9. Now, using the wnTest function, let's go ahead and compute the p-value for this test for the different max lags. We compute it for the first cell, and copy the formula to the remaining cells in the column. Now, let's go ahead and plot the p-value. Select a 2D line type of graph. Format the graph. Notice that the p-value for all lag orders are greater than alpha, or the significance level. The WN test will accept the white noise hypothesis. The WN test uses a lag of natural log of the sample size if the user does not specify one. In our case, this would equal to max lags of 3. That's it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, please send them to us at support at spiderfinancial.com.